Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm Evangelist Regina Barnett. And this is a Speak Life Weekend, a Speak Life with Fire. I know you hear the sound in the background. That's Ron Cannoli Call All Honor. We're waiting on the fire. We're waiting on the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. He said, my words in John 6, 63, they are spirit and they are life. Share this Speak Life live audio to your family and friends. Let them know. She's on again, speaking life to us. Yes, we need the fire. We just can't speak life. We have to speak life with fire. We got to speak life with the spirit of the Lord in our lives. In our lives, we have to speak life. We have to speak life with the spirit of the Lord in our mouth. He said, my words are spirit. And they are life. Did you hear me? My words are spirit. And they are life. Good morning to you, Herbert. Glad to have you on here this morning. I'm excited about you. And you should be too. Because you're going to hear a word from the Lord with fire. With his spirit. The Lord, when he walked around, when he talked. Men gathered just to hear him say something. In this hour, we are. In this hour, in the times we're living in. The uh, communication and talking and speaking is on the front line. Y'all hear me? I know we have front line workers and we believe God to continue to bless them and move for them. But people that are speaking, they're on the front line. Martin Luther King Day is coming up. And he said, I have a dream, you know, and this speech took over. And I remember Mahalia Jackson was telling him, he said, tell him about the dream. Tell him about the dream. She had, he had talk to her about it because she said tell him about the dream and he went in they said he had words on paper that he was going to use for uh uh they made it out to be a speech then poetry was there they said but after a while i just believe the spirit took over god can use anybody god use a donkey god can use anybody and i'm gonna tell you that the spirit the words that will be coming out of your mouth they will be spirit and they will be life. He said, the flesh profit nothing. Now, we're going to speak like 15. I want to talk to you about today being uh, thankful, returning with praise. It's coming from Luke 17, 11, 1, 11 through 19. Get excited about the word of God. Get super glad because that's the only thing that has spirit and it has life. His words have spirit and they have life. It's going to cause people to be come to you and you're going to give them Jesus. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men to me. It says here, I'm going to paraphrase it a little bit. In Luke 17, 11 through 19, read the word of God when you have time. Get excited about the word of God. The man says it in the Psalms. Oh, how love I the law. It's my meditation all the day. Not my medication all the day. My meditation all the day when you meditate up on the word of God the enemy gets scared he gets he loses it and he don't want you to give because see when you're meditating on the word of God you're going to start giving you're going to start blessing ministry you're going to start being a blessed to be a blessing and the enemy don't like it so he wants you to get into the word of God and be happy he says serve the glory the Lord with gladness, not sadness and not madness. He wants you to be happy. How are you going to have it? You're going to have the fire, the fire of Jesus Christ. That spirit, that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you and me. And when we talk, we're drawing people to Jesus. And when we speak, we're drawing people to Jesus. When we proclaim, we're drawing people to Jesus. And that's what he wants us to do. It says here, Uh, It talks about the one leper. It just says that and it talks about a gratitude attitude. When he saw that he was healed, he returned immediately with a loud voice. He glorified God, bowed at his feet, gave him things. He took the time to worship God, glorify God. Why? Because he asked for something. He got it. And while he was on his way to the priest, 
He turned, return with praise, return with thanksgiving. It's time to us to return to the place of God. I had a scripture on this week on uh, Facebook, and it says Psalms 85. One thing it says, revive us, O Lord. Revive us, O Lord. Bring us out of what we in. Turn us around, Lord. Put us back in the place we need to be. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. The Bible says in 1 John 4, 17, as he is, so are we in this world. Hear me this morning. Good morning to you, Barry. I'm super glad you're on. The word of God says, oh my God, he says, 1 John 4, 17, as he is, not as he was, not as he were, not as he's going to be. As he is, so are we in this world. And we got to return with thanksgiving and praise for what he's already done. He wants praise to be on your lips. He wants thanksgiving to be in your heart. That The man saw he was healed and he turned back around. My brother, my sister, you got to turn. You got to repent. Hit. You got to turn from that place that is not giving you the full Jesus in his presence is fullness of joy in his presence is fullness of joy. You got to put a smile back on your face. Turn around. Give him glory so the Lord can direct you to the abundant life that he died for you to have. I am glad that you're on this morning when he saw that he was healed. Do you see you healed? Do you see you're delivered? You got to return immediately to the Lord. Did y'all hear? me return immediately to the Lord pack up your bags where you are in your mind clean it up get the garbage out the way and return to the Lord and you don't even have to clean yourself up as you return it as he went he was healed as he went, he was healed. As he was going, he was healed. I know we won't heal as soon as the Lord say heal him. He said, but as you go, and as you go, obeying, obeying me is going to heal you. Obeying me is going to deliver you. Obeying me. Obeying me. And I'm talking about not me, but Jesus Christ. He returned with a loud voice. He glorified God. And bowed at his feet, gave him thanks, and he took time to worship God and glorify him because he was delivered. When you return with thanksgiving and praise, he returned because he was healed. Are you going to return this morning? You're delivered and set free. Your bills are paid. You got a roof over your head. You got your legs. You got your arms. You got your eyes. You got your nose. Are you going to return with praise? Hallelujah to my God. I'm telling you now, return with praise. Return with praise. Hallelujah to my Jesus Christ. You got to return. You got to get back to the place he took you to. Remember when he healed you. The leper, remember only weapon. He said, where are the nine? I thought I healed ten. Where are the nine? He said, but they were healed, but you are made whole. When you repent and you return with praise and thanksgiving, you're going to be made whole. A lot of people are healed, but they're not whole. Y'all going to hear me this morning. A lot of people are healed, but they're not whole. They're not whole. They're still mad. They're not whole. They got healing in the Bible, Kessler out of their Bible, but they're still mad. They're not whole. Why? Because they didn't return to Jesus. They didn't return to Jesus. The preacher's been saying, come back to church. Return back to the place that the you once received the Lord. What did he say? Take me back. Take me back to the place where I once received you. Take me back. Take me back to the place I once believed. That's the song. That's the song. He said, take me back, Lord. Me, M-E. It's time to go back. It's time to go back to prayer the way you used to prayer. It's time to go back. The Lord is doing a new thing, but he can't do a new thing in an old mind. Did you hear me? He can't do a new thing in an old mind. He can't do a new thing in an old mind. That's why the Bible says in the flesh, John 6 and 63, in the flesh, prophet, no good thing, not at all. You got to return. Mama not, might not return. Daddy might not return. And we love them both. Our family might not return. Our spouse might not return. The boss might never say Jesus. But you return back to the place so you can be made whole. So you can be strengthened. So you can come out of what you're in. All the joy of the Lord is your strength. You got 
to return to your joyful place. The place where you smiled all the time. The place where when you cried, he wiped your tears. The place where he helps you. The place where he delivers you. The place where he brings you back. That's why I say you got to speak life with fire when you come back. When you come back, he going to put that fire. That fire. That fire that you need. The fire of the Holy Ghost. People are walking around without the spirit and wondering why they're limited. People are walking around without the spirit of the Lord in their life and wonder why they're limited. I say you can't return. You got to return. That's what I'm saying. You got to return to the place of thanksgiving and praise. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's working together for my good. Thank you, Jesus. I know you're not going to leave me in a place I'm believing you to come out of. Thank you, Jesus. You're turning my situation around. Thank you, Jesus. I give you honor. I give you praise. I'm returning because you healed me. I'm returning because you delivered me. It wasn't the priest that he was really. He was just setting order up. But somebody returned. He said, where are the nine? He's, I sent you to the priest. But why you didn't come back to me? I sent you to the man and woman of God. Why you didn't come back to me? The reason why they told you to read your Bibles. They're telling you to pray. They're telling you to give. They're telling you to do everything you're supposed to do. They're giving you the order of Jesus. And only one return and was made whole. When you return, you will be made whole. When you return, you will be brought out. When you return, you will be delivered. Don't worry about the enemy. Worry about returning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning to you, innocent is listening because I look I can't say your first name I would have to figure it out later but I'm so glad and super glad that you all were on here this morning I'm finished I'm finished I'm saying a word this morning to return a gratitude attitude the Lord has can't bless mad people I'm gonna I'm a close with this the Lord Jesus cannot bless mad people he say anger anger it doesn't, it doesn't help you cease from it. Be peaceful. But you can't do that without the spirit of the Lord being filled with the Holy Ghost. My believers of Jesus Christ keep speaking life with fire. But if you're not a believer of Jesus Christ, what are you waiting on? Repent and be baptized in Jesus name. Get filled with that precious Holy Ghost and you too can rise up. And when you rise up, you're going to start speaking life because you have the spirit in you. You're going to be a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things passed away. Behold, everything is new. And you're going to return with thanksgiving and praise. They gladly, in the book of Acts 2.38, they gladly received the words of Peter and 3,000 were added to the church. He said, I'll add to the church daily such as shall be saved. He's adding. He's not subtracting. He's adding to the church. He's adding to your ministry. And guess what you have to do? You got to stay in the spirit. People talk about we don't need the Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Ghost more than ever right now. Hallelujah. People need to be filled. Your children need to be filled. Your family need to be filled. Why do you think they're still doing that? He said, not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Speak life with fire. They even said Jesus, he spoke words that he said, didn't our hearts burn? Didn't they burn? It's in the gospel. Didn't our hearts burn when he spoke? When you speak, the fire supposed to draw them in. You know this in the book of uh, Genesis, the first chapter. And he said, the spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the water. Then he spoke and said, let there be light. And there was light. You're speaking, but there's no spirit. He said, without me, John 15 and 5, you can't do nothing. That's why you have, a, have to have a gratitude attitude. I thank you, Jesus. Even with the bad, it's working together for my good. The Lord knew me before my mother's womb. Before the womb, he knew you. Before the womb. Before the womb, he designed you and ordered you to be a pastor, to be a leader, to be a bishop, to be a missionary. He ordered you, Barry. He ordered you, Herbert. He ordered you. He ordered you, my sister, my brother. He ordered you. He said, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor has it entered in the heart of men the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Oh, only one leopard turned around and was made whole. Will you be the one that turned around today? 
Oh, my God, I know you heard me say, come to the Lord. Heaven rejoices over one soul that repents. It rejo- Heaven rejoices. Hear me today. Heaven rejoices. The enemy doesn't rejoice over a saved soul. He's upset. But when you return with praise, you're returning and letting the Lord know, hey, Lord, <laughs> I'm coming back. And he was made whole. Did you hear me? He was made whole. Y'all hear me today? Made whole because he returned. And you can be made whole today when you return. Believers of Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, you can be made whole today. He died last night. Hey, today. The Lord loves you. And he has great things for you, but you cannot do it without his spirit his spirit oh my brothers and sister in jesus christ rejoice over that soul that will give their life now to the lord or when they hear this video later come on and rejoice rejoice and be it is seemingly god glad and we praise the lord and we thank you now say these words with me Give it up for that soul that will be saved. Y'all understand? Jesus' goal is souls. The number one goal he has is souls. I'm doing that. I'm healing you, giving you that miracle and deliverance so you can be saved. So I can draw you in to be made whole. Hallelujah. And he wants you to speak life with fire. Have a gratitude attitude and return with thanksgiving and praise. Read that in your time, Luke 17, 11 through 19. Listen to me. I don't leave off of here. I want you to say these words with me. Bless you all. Appreciate you all. May the Lord continue to make you great and bless your life. In Jesus' name. Say these words with me. Let the words of the Lord Jesus Christ keep shining bright and you keep speaking life because speaking life speaking the word of God. Whatever you speak, happens until not next time keep speaking life with fire